looks familiar, doesn't it? That's because it's the gecko face of the Porsche Taycan, the car that came out coming up for two years ago, I should think, and absolutely set the benchmark for what should be an electric supercar. This then is a different version because this is the Porsche Taycan Cross Turismo. Don't you dare call it an estate car. It's a Cross Turismo. And the biggest change of this is here. It's got a slightly more roomy backside with a tailgate. So it's really a Porsche Taycan for people that love dogs. And today we're going to review it. I'm Johnny Smith. Welcome to The Late Break Show. Okay, so how does it differ visually apart from that obvious back end? Well, there's some extra little kind of plastic covers. You've got these kind of uh, aerodynamic rough plastic spats on the front and on the, the sill back there. I'll show you those in a minute. And then in gloss plastic, you've got these kind of wheel arch covers, which really echo, I think, the Audi A6 Allroad when that came out. They're definitely taking a leaf out of the Audi Allroad book here. The Ground clearance is higher on the Cross Turismo by 20 mil. So even though this car comes as standard with air suspension, which is adjustable, it's always 20 millimeters higher than the original car, depending on which setting you go. And you can make it go extra high, uh, yeah, if you wanted. These wheels are also Cross Turismo specific. Now, I think they're a really good design. I'm not sure they work in black, but anyway, these are 21s because this is a Turbo S. This is the range topper but they're available from 19s and 20 inch as well. Back in 2018, when I was at the Geneva Motor Show, Porsche unveiled this concept called the Mission E Cross Turismo. This is what this car has now become. The Mission E became the Taycan, the Mission E Cross Turismo has become this. The main difference in the side profile is the roof rails up here, which you can't get on the normal flavor Taycan, and some extra chunky sill covers, which match the gloss black wheel arch covers. And you've got these, these gravel guards here at the back. Most of the, the styling add-ons that make it look like a Cross Turismo, they're okay. I quite like the purity of the normal Taycan and I would love it if they were to really make a Taycan Turismo that isn't necessarily a Cross. But I can see this appeal of a sort of adventure, rapid estate. And let's not forget this is regarded as the world's quickest production estate car. There's not really many fast EV estates. In fact, there's only one other one, uh, which is the MG. And I don't know if that's classed as rapid, probably isn't. What I like about the Taycan, and this is not just, I mean, I think the estate version possibly looks better. The same as the Panamera um, Turismo looks better than the normal Pan. But what I think they have done is they've made it look unique, but it's not too radical. Porsche have also developed a special bike carrying rack for the Taycan Cross Turismo. It allows you to carry up to three bikes and still lift up the boot. And you can tick an option box to have your own e-bike. And they do two types of e-bike. One of them's nine grand, I think. The other one's seven and a half grand. So you could have matching Porsche e-bikes on the back of your electric supercar. There's something quite cool about that. And that's the thing about Porsches, even when they're super hardcore, there's still a high level of practicality about them. A couple of other things to mention about the Cross Turismo is there's four models to choose from and they're all gonna be available immediately from the launch. There's the 4, the 4S, the Turbo, and the Turbo S, and this is the Turbo S flagship car, nearly £140,000. The entry level four starts at just under 80. The other thing to bear in mind is all Sport Turismo cars are four wheel drive. You can't buy an entry level rear motor, rear wheel drive like you can the Taycan, which is a sweet £70,000 car. The other thing about the Cross Turismo is they all come with the bigger battery, the 93 kilowatt hour battery. Typically, the 4 is about 5 seconds to 62, the 4S is about 4 seconds to 62, the Turbo is about 3 seconds to 62, and the Turbo S is just is under 3 seconds to 62. 
It has an onboard 11 kilowatt charger. So this 93.4, I think it is, kilowatt hour battery pack can be charged from empty in nine hours with, with your normal um, home charge box. But it can rapid charge up to 270 kilowatts. And that's the same as the existing Taycan. It's a very, very aerodynamic, slippery shape, and it just glides. There's no aggressive engine, uh, I say engine braking, regen braking, uh, because Porsche decided not to go with that bite. They let the driver use the foot brake because that's just what they seem to want to do. However, Porsche have improved the software um, on the regen so it actually is a little bit more efficient and that's going to be dialed into existing Taycans when they go in for their their service and their up upgrades. So this is one of the differences with the Cross Turismo versus the normal Taycan. You get a bit more headroom, 47 mil more headroom and this has got the optional pano roof which I love. The seating position, you're in these little sort of micro bucket seats. They're not hard bolsters. It's actually supportive and nice, but you do sit low. The seats are one piece, but they're quite far apart. So I've got a good vista, as it were. I like it. You can option the Taycan with three abreast or two abreast. Most people will go for the two like this one, which just has a rubberized tray. And obviously you've got your armrest with your cup holders. There's a touch screen down here for all your you know heating and air con controls that kind of thing and remember it's not a flat floor car because it just isn't like any self-respecting non-porsche owner i have actually got a porsche cap and i wear it with pride when i'm not in a porsche i don't own a porsche it's a real shame i can't afford one though like and subscribe yeah i really like the driving position of the Taycan. The dash is the same as all Taycans, this sort of semi-floating oval with all the digital gauges. I'm not so sure, although it's neat and it's flush and it's integrated, these screens are neat. I'm not sure about having uh, the touch screen for pretty much everything, like, you know, heated seats and HVAC and all the entertainment. I find that a little bit clumsy. Um, to work while I'm driving, but that's just a personal preference. Love the thin steering wheel, and I find myself using the physical buttons on the steering wheel more than anything else, actually. As I test the Taycan, I'm actually heading to meet a mate of mine because I want his opinion on this thing. He is a serial Porsche purveyor. He's owned many, many, many Porsches. He's also a better driver than me, and he owns a dog. I want his opinion on this car. So I said I was going to drive to meet a friend of mine who's owned a number of Porsches, who's a better driver than me, and also owns dogs. You might recognise him. It's a middle-aged man with a hat on. <laughs> Mate, this is my, I'm not working today. No, no, he's, he's, he's doing me a favour, actually. I'm not working today. But the, the reason why I wanted to meet you um, with this is because that is your daily driver. Yeah, yeah. Your Panamera Sport Turismo. Yes. So which is the kind of piston sister car to this. Yeah, do you know what? I've always liked Panameras, but I don't like the shape, the yeah. normal shape one. And okay, it's improved over the years. It still looks a bit, I, I just don't like it. I it mean, drives. I nearly said a bad word then. <laughs> but when this came along, which is more of an estate, yeah. I know it's not a shooting brake, but it's kind of that sort of shape, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Hello, I like this. And funny enough, I was at Porsche Red Reading last weekend with a pal who was looking to buy Taycan. And I said to him, mate, Look, here's the pictures of the Cross Turismo. That's yeah. the car you want. You went, oh, that looks nice. Mm. Have you got any? No, they didn't. Yeah. So I'm interested to have a look at this. You've driven normal Taycan. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 And what did you think? Yeah, it's insane. Yeah. I mean, it's a Turbo S I drove for fifth gear, actually. But extraordinary, the, extraordinary the... quick. I mean, I drove it at Castle Coombe and we, I mean, we killed it. We killed the battery in 20 laps. Okay. But that's not representative driving. No. But the performance was breathtaking. Yeah. Bear in mind, it's two and a half ton, is it not? It's a big, yeah, it is. It's, it's yeah. getting on for two they're and heavy, a half. They're heavy cars and it drove yeah. phenomenally well. Yeah. I mean, it's mind-numbingly quick. Yeah. I would imagine that and this are quite similar. And that's massive. They are similar. This is a smaller car yeah. in all ways, I think. See? But it's a, probably a familiar shape yeah, back yeah. end to that. Show us your boot. Show us your pan turb bum. 
That's a big boot, isn't it? What have you got in here? Not just stuff. There's obviously water in there. <laughs> He's got copies of his autobiography and wine. You know, if I go around people's houses, it's often handy to have some, something just a little gift in the back. Notice it's English sparkling, not your French expensive nonsense. Although that is dear, that Keeping one. it Brexit spec, I like it, yeah. I've obviously got a little face mask here, just in case. Okay, nice. It's bra branded. Branded. Um, remember when we did that? Yes, I do remember that. It hasn't moved, it's been in there. <laughs> And I've got some laces just in case I get caught short. <laughs> laces. I've got laces for me, uh, me of Roger Federer shoes. Absolutely. Just in case. You never know. Practical Plato. Yeah. So this is the back end of the Pan Sport Turismo. Notice how they, they don't talk about the word estate. No one says estate because it's apparently uncool. And Americans don't like a shooting brakes or um, what's the other one? Station wagon. Station wagon, yeah. It's a curse, apparently. You've got to call it something See, I've got a tonneau cover here. Yeah. Otherwise, you've got a proper... Yeah, let's have a look. Let's have you, a look. You've, you've got a... What, what do they call that? A parcel shelf. Yeah. This is a trad, fairly trad parcel shelf, and it's covered in... that. Alan Cantara. It's covered in Alan Cantara, covered in a bit of Alan, look. Ah, look, hold on. So that... Does that... that the whole lot comes out. Does it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll be a pull. It'll, watch your fingers. I've seen what you do with parcel yeah. shelves. Oh, God. There's one bit. Okay. There's another bit. Oh, there we go. That wasn't yeah. too aggressive. So actually, that's, that's not a bad boot, is it? Yeah, that's all right. And you've got um, elasticated waistbands. And you've got these deep I wells. like those. I like those. Well, that's where my bottle could go in there. Yeah, completely. And it wouldn't be changy, changy around. And then you've got your charger lead in there, if you so wish, under a shallow floor there. I'll tell you what. It's not just you I came here for. I came here for your dog. Shall, right, shall you I go, go and get the Vosloctor? You go and get your dog and we'll do a dog test. Okay. That's what it's about, Porsches and dogs. So, <coughs> this is Coco, see. I would be very careful because she, she can <laughs> draw blood. Really? Oh, man, yeah, she's wild. Okay. She's, she's wild. looking at me like, don't you dare. Yeah, if you look at, look at the whites of her eyes, look. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> oh, God, I kid you not. <laughs> so, I think you're fine, you, you see. You the Taycan is yeah. a brilliant, it's brilliant for dogs. Look. Okay, she's cool with that. Yeah, she likes it. It's all right, babe, we'll be back in a minute. There you go, you she's see. She's got this tinted window, but... She's fine with that, isn't she? Yeah, she's in there. There you go. There you are. She's, she's obviously really happy, because she's... It's all right, sweetie. There you so, go. So, plenty of space. So, Coco. Put Coco in there. Oh, oh, you've gone for the four-seat option, I see. Yeah. Yeah. There, you see. She's quite at home in there. Look, she'll sit down. She likes it in there. And she's probably we weeding there in the past, so she's <laughs> much here. She's more at home. You just don't this. know it. Well, she would have done without a doubt. Oh, really? <laughs> more than likely, yeah. Yeah. She's not. She's more Taycan than Taycan Cross Turismo because she's lower to the ground, whereas the the Cross Turismo is 20 mil higher in all of its settings. Oh, that was a nice se segue from I'd the dog to some crucial just information. Thought, just thought I'd do that bit fact. Because I didn't know until we went. Look at that just touch. I didn't know <laughs> until we went to the dealership the other day that these are 20 mil hi higher. Yeah. You, you wouldn't know though. No. Would you? Do you want to go out for a drive? Yeah. Yeah, why not? I hear you can. I hear a bit of a wheel, man. You can go back in, can't you, eh? Look at that. Ooh, look. I, see, she's got the softest of ears, and I'd like to stroke her, but I, fancy, I don't fancy getting mauled. I would be careful, because she, I mean, literally... She's doing that. She's look, she's, look, 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 look at the neck. Eye. It's recoiled, ready for the attack. Oh, <laughs> So you can't buy this as a rear-wheel drive single motor, whereas the entry-level normal Taycan you can get as a rear-wheel drive car. I'm not sure I'd want it. I really like it, but then I don't drive as quite as hard as you, I would say. I mean, uh, you know, for us, all the Larry Porsches I've had, at, which has been all of them <laughs> recently, yeah. that, and I say recently, last, what, 10 years? Have all they've been, all been four. They've all been, yeah. Because all turbos are four. Four-wheel drive, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you do non-turbo Porsches anymore? No. You don't, do you? No. Is that just from a power perspective? Um, only because I was lucky enough to, to be able to get one and then realise it was the best car in the world. Yeah. This is the thing, this is the bit I like. So let you know, we're like, a, let's call it 65 mile an hour, let's say. <laughs> I know. Do you like this sort of synthesised noise? I don't now, mind it. I actually really like it. Yeah. 
I really like it. Yeah. Because it's it's the only synthesised noise which they're not trying to replicate and all the other cars which got I'm struggling oh, like to say it. Engines. It's like engines. Mm. But this sounds a bit spaceshipy. Oh yeah, it does. Ooh. Yeah, but it's great, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. I think it's that feeling of going into hyperspace. It's sci-fi, yeah. but not too cheesy. I, I never thought it was cheesy. I've noticed with this, even in normal mode, which is just get in and put it in D, the throttle response is still really, really sharp. Oh, yeah, and yeah, the brake right. pedal is still very, very nice. It's just that Porsche kind of, it's quite hard to describe when you're on camera. It's that, it's it's that Porsche I mean, it's feel of the pedal box is just lovely. And like you said, that thin steering wheel, it's wonderful. Right, we need to do a 0 to 62 to 0, because I want you to do the, what do you experience? I'll try and, I'm gonna try and regale. Okay, ready? One of my most profitable rackets first came about after I started karting in Europe. I was already a committed smoker. <laughs> oh my then. Oh, and after buying some cigarettes and a lighter by those. <laughs> it's just a long God, I've never done that looking that was, down. Yeah, that was naught to 63, back to zero again. Wow, that all happened. So, I mean, I've definitely got a wee on the do uh, knocking on the door now. Do you know what? I wonder, I wonder, if, I, I, if you said, right, you've got a thousand pounds, yes, and you have to make a bet, and you've got to choose one of the one of the others, yes, one either A or B, yeah, and the bet is this: a standing start, yeah, to sixty miles an hour, yeah, you have this in launch control, yeah, or a Formula One car. Place your bets. Uh, as in Formula One car, preheated tyres, etc. Yeah. Yeah. Ready to go, yeah. start line, Formula One car. Prepped surface? No, just like a normal, normal start, road. A normal road. So start. like that road back there? Yeah. Oh, well. Place your bets. Yeah. I'd bet this. I would bet this too. Now, isn't that bonkers? And the reason why is because they've made launch control so idiot proof. I mean, this takes no prep, does it? You stand on the left, you stand on the right, you release the left pedal, boom. But the the performance, it's a it's a family car. I know. And it, I, I, honestly, I think I would place a thousand pounds on this beating an F1 car. Would you? Yeah. That's insane. Yeah, it is, isn't it? I guess taking this car to see Plato and seeing how he feels about it is reaffirmed to me that even a hardcore Porsche fanatic or a performance car aficionado can appreciate a car like the Taycan. And even if you're just into EVs and you want a luxury premium brand engaging performance EV with a, a bit of family practicality, you can get that in this. So it spans quite a breadth, the Cross Turismo. It's well built. It's enjoyable. No, it's not got the biggest boot in the world, but it gives you a level of practicality that you can use in the real world. You can charge fast speeds, but no, it doesn't have a Tesla supercharger system that you'd get with a Tesla. But what it has over a Tesla is it has that, that cornering capability, it has that I don't know, that durable feeling. And for me, it has a badge which I prefer to a Tesla. And this is way, way better quality than any Tesla I've been in. But I would round this up by saying, if I was gonna buy a Cross Turismo Taycan, I'd probably buy a 4S, something like that, keeping it under 90,000 pounds, still swift, still with a decent range. I just hope one day they build a Taycan Turismo that isn't a cross. I'm not sure I need the crossness. Thanks for watching. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this episode of The Late Break Show. If you haven't already subscribed, click subscribe. And if you're a Patreon supporter, uh, thank you ever so much for supporting me through Patreon. Much appreciated.